gang, what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks for taking some time to check the video out today. I'm gonna give you guys my uh, first day practice report from, uh, or first and only day practice report from here at Table Rock Lake. We got the BFL tournament starting tomorrow and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how my day went on the water and sort of what my plan is for tomorrow a little bit. Um, real quick guys, before we get started, just a couple quick housekeeping tips. I just wanna invite everybody uh, to please uh, check out fishthemoke.com, our lake map breakdowns. I've been reminding everybody that we got our, our summer lake map breakdowns out now on the website. So um, I'll include the Fish the Moment lake map breakdown uh, link in the description. And also if, if any of the lakes that uh, are on the uh, list that you fish are not on there, you can work a virtual lesson with us and we can go over any lake in the country that you guys wanna learn more about. But this is a really great resource to learn more about your favorite lake. So uh, much appreciated and link in the description. Okay guys, uh, first only practice day I had today. I did have an on the water lesson earlier in the week, but um, that wasn't a practice day because a lot of it was just instructional teaching uh, people you know, just how to fish and everything. So today was the first, you know, real day I had to practice out there. And um, fishing's good on Table Rock right now. It's like this, really right now and for the last three weeks, it's about the best fishing that you're gonna have all year long, simply because the majority of the bass in the lake right now are in, you know, shallower water and water less than 10 foot deep. So that just makes the fish a lot more catchable. They're just a lot more fish up to be caught. Um, a lot of small fish that is, you know, Table Rock is, is a, a three pounder right now. It's pretty hard to get. Um, there's a lot of, you know, those 13 to 15 inch fish biting and um, caught a bunch of fish today, but um, that was sort of the, the story for me. I didn't have, I had one pretty decent one, but the rest of them, you know, I just had a lot of fish in that slot that I just mentioned right there. So anyway, the, the overriding story in this tournament, once again, is the fishing pressure. The, I know it sounds like a, you know, I'm beating a, you know, dead horse here, guys, but Tabor Rock is just getting relentlessly hammered right now. It's like, you literally, you can't go in the back of a cove anywhere on the lake without a boat being in there. It's like, it's the same thing as like, when you go to the DMV to get your license renewed, you have to pull in there and you got to take a number and sit down. It's the same way if you want to go to the back of a cove right now. Take a number, wait your turn, you go back, you, there's somebody back there, they leave, you go back and fish, and when you're idling out, when you're done fishing it, somebody else idles in to fish it. So it's just getting hammered. They got that giant youth tournament going on here, and they can launch anywhere on the lake. They got the, the BFL tournament going on. I think there's a Joe Bass, there's about probably a dozen club tournaments, there's a big kayak tournament, and everybody out just fishing, because it's springtime so that's the biggest thing and and one of the one of the elements in this tournament I'm, I'll, I'll get into a little bit about what my plan is here in a second but one of the big challenges in this tournament is when you have this many boats on the lake and it's been like this for a month down here the fish react to it the same way as like like if a bad cold front went through so therefore when you're trying to when you're trying to figure out how to catch the bigger fish here and you, you know, fish techniques you think are gonna produce bigger ones as far as with bigger baits, it doesn't work because those fish are so shy and they're so skittish from there being so many boats on the lake that you simply can't just power fish to catch those bigger ones. You have to just weenie worm around and fish around, catch a bunch of fish and, and you know, hopefully, you know, you get bit by one or two when one or two decent fish just out of the blue. And that's sort of what I have found here the last three weeks at Table Rock. It's like I have worked so hard trying to figure out how to get these bigger fish to, to bite. And that's one of the things I did today. I went I went to a part of the lake where I did the same thing in the last tournament. I, I spent all my practice in water that I felt that not maybe a lot of, not a lot of people were gonna fish and you don't get near as many bites, but when you do get one, it's usually a bigger fish. And it's the same story for me. I put on the big baits, I fish the water where you think the big ones are gonna be, and you catch the same size fish. It's so difficult to get above that three pound mark here. Now in this tournament, there is going to be a ton of guys that have eight to 11 pound limits. And the, the real challenge in this tournament is to get over that 11 pound mark. And in order to do that, you gotta get bit by a couple three to four pound class fish to bump you over that. And it's very difficult because 
like right now, Tabor Rock, there's so many fish up shallow that it's not uncommon right now to catch 50 fish a day. It's like there's we're right in that small window of the year where you can do that. You can't do that any other time except right now. But the problem you have there is you catch, if you catch 50 fish, you know, and you may have 10 keepers, they're still only going to weigh 10 or 11 pounds unless you just get that, you know, that off the wall, just out of nowhere, big bite. And I spent all day long looking for it. I mean, I spent, I fished big baits all day long. And guys, that if, I'll show you the baits I fished after the tournament here, but I fished giant baits today and caught the same size fish that I was catching when I was weenie worming around. So it's like, there's just a lot of little fish up shallow right now. The big ones, you know, I'm not really exactly sure where they're at right now. They, they're they probably pulled off a little bit deeper. I imagine a lot of the bigger fish have already spawned, um, but it's just typical. It's just, it's always hard to get a big bite. It's, it's I, I look for this tournament to sort of be the same way as it was the last few. I don't think anyone's gonna catch 20 pounds tomorrow. I just think the lake has been trashed by fishing pressure so much the last month. And it's a weekend with a lot of boats. I mean, I look for, I've said in the last two tournaments it was going to take 18 to 22 to win, and it's taken less than 20 both times, I think 18 or 19. I think in this tournament, you know, I think 17 to at the max 19 is probably going to win it, And there's, but there's, it's probably going to take, um, I bet it takes uh, high 13s, close to 14 pounds to get a 40th place check. And it wouldn't surprise me if you know, if there's 200 boats in the tournament. I bet, I bet 150 guys have limits over 10 pounds. There's just a, it's just easy to catch them right now. Don't get all excited. Tabor Rock is not getting any better. Tabor Rock is still tough as nails. Gets tougher every year. It's just a anomaly, a anomaly that we're in right now. That we've got every fish in the lake is up shallow. So. The, uh, the amount, when all these guys, when I talk about Tabor Rock sucking and how tough it is, and they say, well, Larry, Andy, look how many fish were caught. You know, that didn't make any difference. When every, everywhere across the country right now, it's the same way. The fishing is the best that's gonna be all over the country right now. It's just that time of year. So anyway, my plan in the tournament is, um, I'm just gonna go back to all of, like I have in the last three BFLs. I'm gonna go back to, all my old stomping grounds and just and just run new water all day long try to really fish the conditions i'm going to focus on you know trying to get a limit first and then based upon how the wind's blowing or the cloud cover i'm going to pick up some big stuff and maybe try to get a kicker out of it but that's what i did last tournament here at Tabor Rock at the bfl i caught a limit like by 10 o'clock and i spent the rest of the day trying to get a big bite and i got two big bites and neither one of them got the bait i mean so I'll probably try to do the same thing tomorrow as, as far as, you know, really, uh, tr you know, trying to get that limit as early as I can and then just go for that kicker. Because if you can get a limit here, they're going to weigh close to 10 pounds, just to, just a limit of keepers. And then if you can get a four five or six pounder, it it's going to bump you up 50 places, just one bite there. So that's sort of my sort of my plan here but anyway I, I look for tomorrow to be just a zoo out there i think it's you're going to be fishing on top of people all day long uh, everybody's going to have to deal with it until the in, until the lake patrol and the corps of engineers gets their act together and stop having thousand boats on the lake in one weekend and start staggering these tournaments out it's just going to be tough on everybody so Anyway, guys, I'll give you the report tomorrow. I'll let you know, guys know how it goes the uh, first day of the of tournament. Maybe you guys can, can learn what to do or what not to do, depending upon how it goes tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys uh, next time.